Hi there, today we're working with uh, methods and strings. So um, up until now we've been working with methods that uh, you know pass uh, you know values that are that are uh, you know integers or double data types and they return values that are uh, you know, integers or double data types. Uh, I want to make clear that you can also pass strings and return strings with methods. Um, so you know uh, methods, uh, you know, uh, it's not only limited to uh, to numbers. You can also pass strings. So right here we have a method called public static string. This is my return type right here. This method is going to return a string. The name of the method is full name, and right here I've got my parameter declarations. So uh, str1 and str2, those are the uh, variables. Uh, so uh, the uh, main method or whatever is going to you know send uh, this method to arguments um, they both have to be of the uh, string data type and we're gonna call this one str1 we're gonna call the other one str2 inside our method here we're gonna create a string uh, local string variable called str result and then we're going to put those two variables together so str1 plus space plus str2 it's going to be str result and then I'm going to return the string str result that has these strings combined and uh, of course right here this is our return type for this method full name okay let's let, let's look at a uh, demonstration real quick so the name of this program is crow3 underscore 076 company name and uh, this program is going to create a company name for you if you are trying to start up a company uh, and you can't figure out a groovy name um, for your new corporation or whatever uh, you can use this program to create a name for you so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the goption pane class because this is going to be a program that uses dialog boxes inside our main method we're going to declare a few variables, str science, verb, last name, ending, company name. We've got an integer called int choice, and then we've got a string called str input. All right, so I'm going to tell the user, welcome to the company name creator. And then we're going to uh, tell them, enter a word related to science. And they're going to put that information to, into uh, the uh, string variable str science. We're going to say, enter a sophisticated verb. They're going to put that into str verb. We're going to say type your last name. That's going to go into str last name. And then we're going to tell them to type um, enter a number between 1 and 3. So we're going to parse that into int choice. And uh, this right here will determine what the, uh, the, the um, type of or the, uh, the, the, the ending name for their company will be. If they choose 1, the ending name uh, will be incorporated. If they choose two, the ending name will be corporation. If they choose three, it'll be LLC. And if they didn't uh, enter one, two, or three, then it'll say crack shack. You did not enter a valid selection uh, earlier. So here's our method, company name. And we're sending it the following variables that we've grabbed from our user. str last name, str science, and str verb, and str ending. So we're sending it these four um, string variables. This variable right here, company name, will return a string value, and it'll throw that value into whatever str into a, an str company name. So let's go into the company name method and let's look and see what we got. So here we are. So we've got public static string. So this is our return type string. We're going to be returning a string variable, string value, and then here's our variable, uh, our method name, company name, and here are the four parameter declarations. So I'm sending this um, variable four arguments, and here are the parameter declarations that will accept those arguments. And notice that they're all string uh, variables. So inside the uh, the method here, I'm going to declare a string variable called str name, and then I'm going to set str name equal to the following. I'm just going to combine all of those strings. So str1 plus space plus str2 plus space plus str3 plus space plus str4 is going to give us one long string. I'm going to put that entire long string into str name and then I'm going to return str name. I'm returning a string value. That is going to come back up here and whatever value is returned is going to go into str company name and then I'm going to display that using the following right here congratulations your company name is whatever company whatever uh, you know whatever we whatever we create so let's go ahead and let's run this real quick welcome to the company name creator enter a word related to science 
Um, how about uh, how about isotopes? I hope I spelled that right. Enter a sophisticated verb. Uh, let's say um, procedural. Type your last name, Crow. Enter a number between one and three, let's say two. Congratulations, your company name is Crow Isotopes Procedural Corporation. Ooh. All right, so that's our program. That's how it works. So again, today we were working with methods where we can both send string arguments and then return um, string values. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.